Now that you've created your great book in the Book Creator app, you probably want to share it with others. There are several ways that you can do this. Let's start out by tapping on the My Books button in the top left corner of your screen to get back to your bookshelf. From there, you can see the share icon underneath your book. It's the square with the arrow coming out of the top. Go ahead and tap on that share icon. Here you can see all the different ways that you have to share your book with others. You can export your book in the EPUB format, which means that anyone that you share your book with can open it up in Book Creator and continue to edit and interact with your book. You can also use the EPUB format in the iBooks app to turn pages, play videos, play audio, and interact with the book in other ways. Your second sharing option is to export your book as a PDF. Exporting your book as a PDF gives you a great deal of flexibility in terms of sharing your book. You'll be able to post a PDF on your classroom website, to upload or post it in Schoology, to share it through Seesaw, to email it, and even to print it out if you want to have the book in paper format. Most devices are able to open and read a PDF, so if you're not sure what sort of devices parents might have, sharing that book as a PDF might be a great way to do it. Your third sharing option is to export your book as a video. Exporting your book as a video is also a great way to share your book with anyone who you're not sure again what kind of device they have because most devices can play a video. You can post that video on your classroom website, you could submit it through Seesaw, you could submit it or post it in Schoology, and again you could email that video or you could post it in Google Drive and then share the link to that. If you export your book as a video what will happen is the pages will turn, any videos will play, and then the next page will turn. So to read the book whoever you're sharing it with will need to pause the video so that they have enough time to read the pages. And your fourth way to share your book is to publish it online by creating a free teacher account.